What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Team and News. Yes, guys, I have seen all of the DMs. Are you going to address the whole Portia situation? Are you going to talk about it? Why are you ignoring the Portia situation? <laughs> and you know what, guys? I get it, man. When you're reporting the news or whatever, you can always simply say, look, guys, this is just a rumor. I can't confirm it, but this is the tea. This is what happened. And still go on and report your story. So if it comes out as a lie, you can still fall back on the fact that you said that it was a rumor in the first place mind there's nothing wrong with being the first or anything like that i'm just one of those people like i just want to get more information you know before i jump on a story the same way how um i i needed more information before i just jump and said oh portia is is with this person that's why i didn't jump on the Portia is with Ricky Smiley because she wasn't. And the video I did and said she's with this guy named Dennis McKinney, even though it's going around that she's dating a Nigerian. When it came out, she was a dentist, right? Yes, I was right. So she's still with Dennis. So that's I was like, you know what? Let's just chill on this story for a few days. Don't report it. We shall see. So, anyways, the story is that. You know how I posted a video and pictures of Candy and Portia and Todd and, and Portia man. They're all in a picture together like they're going a double date, had a good old time. Portia reposted the images of Candy on her page. She went on Candy page leaving comments that we, oh my God, we had so much fun. So everyone was just all loving, like, oh, this is amazing. You know, the door is open. They have forgiven each other. This is great. Oh, we're going to have an amazing season. Kenya Moore, who? You know, that's, that's what they were saying. <laughs> Don't come for me. I did an entire video on Nini Leaks yesterday, a day before yesterday, and I did not mention Kenya Moore name, not once. So yes, give me credit that I finally did a video on these ladies and did not bring up Kenya. So give me a pass for this one, right? But it's like, Kenya Moore, who? We gonna be good, okay? Anyways, <laughs> then the story comes out, right? On Todd's birthday party, Jersey's and Jordan, that Portia got in a fight at the birthday bash, okay? Um, basically, Portia got into an argument with a guest at the party. She completely blacked out. And yeah, the rest was, uh, Portia went ballistic, quote, Portia went ballistic, tried to hurt that girl. This is a source, okay? Everyone ran when the violence broke out. Hmm. The person also added that Portia started arguing with the woman. With all of the Insta stories that I had, I posted almost 10 minutes of all of the videos and clips and every single person having a cell phone and just recording everywhere. You trying to tell me that not one person caught that on camera? You trying to tell me Portia blacked out at a party and there's not going to be not one video? I'm not here for her now, but I'm just saying that's going to be a video or something. I mean, that quick Candy was able to say, hey guys, if you have that footage, you know, on yourself and please delete it. Not with all of those people over there. I mean, every single person that was over there. It's like the videos. I was hopping from, I was freaking Instagram hopping. I was going to strangers Instagram page to, to record videos from that page. So everybody was recording. You can't tell me Portia got in the bra where she blacked out completely. And there's not one video. Hell, when any leak said what she said um, on her comedy show, we had the video footage, you know, like something. Even when they were in Miami, walking around and stuff didn't i do an update of this new season coming out we have video and stuff even if it was a dark shaky video somebody would have cut something on their cell phone so um portia hopped in you know she responded to a dm of one of those um one of the real house of atlanta supporter pages and basically claimed that the story is completely false that she didn't fight anybody and all of that but Portia had that in the back of her mind that, yes, I have my hair company, my lingerie company, I'm doing radio and all of that, but this is like my big 
check right here. I can't mess that up. So I think she had that in the back of her mind because the network basically said to her, look, people already screaming favoritism. How come you fought all these people and been in all of these things and you're still here? We keep giving you chances. Like, it's going to come to a point where we're just going to be like, you know what, we love you, but you got to go. So one more and it's done because we've given you chances after chances. It's not the biggest argument on social media right now that a woman who's fought all these people still gets to keep her job. Um, but Kenya Moore ran off and got married and it's a big deal. Anyways, let's focus on Portia. So Portia says a lie. But then yesterday, now listen, I'm the queen of keeping my business on social media. All right. But anyways, so Portia denied that whole situation. Then she unfollowed Candy on Instagram and then she deleted all of that well, I shouldn't say all of it, making sense she had a lot of pictures. But then she deleted the picture that she had up there with Candy and Todd and everyone. Now, I get it. That season is about to start, you know, and the producers put a battery in their back. Go ahead and start some mess. So I get it. Maybe this was Portia. Maybe, maybe this was Portia. Go ahead and start some mess moment to get people excited for the show. Because it don't make no sense. You said nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. But yet, the picture with, that you have with Candy is gone. And then you unfollowed her. Candy is still following her. So I don't care what they say. Something happened. Something definitely happened. And um, she responded guys and it's just instagram basically saying it's just social media it's no big deal because i don't follow somebody trust me but these waiting to excel wannabe pictures that they've been posting lately and i've been seeing people in the comments talking about oh and the gag is kenya moore was actually in the movie <laughs> i love our team twirl be just riding hard for kenya they're like uh yeah I'm going to let you finish. But Kenya Moore was actually in the movie. We don't care. We don't care if it was for a minute or a few seconds. She was actually in the movie. But all of this wedding deck sale, what would be images they've been posting? Candy is not in any of them. And even in the Miami picture, Candy was there, but then she had to leave early. You know, so she have a lot going on. So either you can chuck that up to Candy's a busy woman. She's a business woman. She have a lot going on. Or, you know, something that's going on. But you can't say that either because Milo is in this picture. But then Milo is not in this picture. You know what I'm saying? And Eva and certain people, they're not in these pictures. So just because one person is missing doesn't mean that there's issue going on. But whatever the case might be, I'm sure. Okay, the Red House of Atlanta camera. <laughs> going to be rolling and we were going to see it but there you have it i didn't want to do the story because portia is denying any any and everything but it's still i guess good tea because you guys are still in my dm uh hello portia <laughs> you're gonna report it so there's the story she's saying nothing happened but yeah now people are also saying that portia did not fight and that they're rocking with her and believing what she's saying because you know she's pregnant and all of that now before this image right here popped up you know yesterday Portia had had her moments she's had a moment where you know her stomach will be snatched you know because she's back in the gym or claiming that she's baby vegan and all of that and then she had her moments where her stomach would just pop right these are pictures right here but either way, she's never been one to care. She would still wear her tight clothes, you know, not trying to conceal it, not caring, like whatever, okay? So when this picture popped up yesterday of Portia leaving a recent photo shoot, the person who posted this image cropped herself out of the image, all right? But when this image popped up, there are people saying, oh no, that's an old image in of Portia and the, the photo was photoshopped so I went ahead and pulled up an image with a similar dress 
if you go all the way down to the bottom um, right image you see the dress that Portia's wearing in like I think her season one um for the shoot for the show uh Portia don't even have that same face you know uh it, it could be the makeup it could be the fact that you know she's a woman now and all of that okay and Portia is very tiny when you know when she first came on the scene and all of that and if you notice her hair is parted on the side it's not parted in the middle so people were saying oh this is an old picture that was photoshopped and, and altered and all of that now nah, this is a recent picture the reason why it's also a recent picture if you go to the recent pictures that Portia have posted the picture in the pink where people are saying that she's hiding her baby bump during this photo shoot you can clearly see that it's the same hair this hair is parted in the middle now yes i get it portia own a hair company and you don't even have to own a hair company to change your hair every day because celebrities do it all the time there's celebrities that change the wigs every day you know just to say they're having fun you know they play with colors and all of that and portia been doing that a lot one moment you'll see her wearing a red wig the next moment she's you know she's not wearing a red wig anymore so yes however this is a picture right here that she posted as well saying that is that's a wrap from her photo shoot same hair okay if you go to all of her recent images the image with Portia sitting with Cynthia Nini and Shamia she's covering her stomach again all right her assistant now try to you know throw people off basically trying to pretend like he's posting a picture to have a random conversation that had nothing to do with Portia being allegedly pregnant um, but if you look at her hair, her hair is shorter in this picture and the part is on the side. I'm not saying that Portia is not possible for her to leave her photo shoot and go and change her hair right away. I'm not saying that's not possible. However, you can clearly tight you can clearly tell this picture is an old picture and not a recent one because the hair compared to the hair Portia have had in all of her recent pictures with these girls and just hanging out that's not the scene here in the picture her assistant posted talking about i mean never go shopping with this one so people in his comments also picked up on that and these are their responses where i'm going to go ahead and put it on the screen so then you have people of course they can't do anything without mentioning kenya Moore's name you have people say oh okay this is why Bravo is basically saying we don't give up about Kenya pregnancy storyline. We already have someone else who's pregnant and we know that, you know, this person's supporters and, and fan base are going to be excited about her pregnancy. Okay, so they're saying that the show don't care about Kenya pregnancy story because, I mean, Shamia is not a peach holder. So even though she's pregnant, it's not going to be like a really wild shocker storyline they just feel like okay Portia also have this major storyline because Portia wanted to have a baby so bad and she you know went through that whole storyline situation with baby nub and all that mess so they still feel like Portia being pregnant is going to bring something to the show Portia also hinted as you know being engaged and all of that but then you have people who are upset are but let me just put this disclaimer out there however way you want to have your kids do you whether you have them before marriage after marriage by yourself i'm not here to judge anyone but then you have people arguing saying yes kenya moore who waited for marriage she you know she met the right person got married and then now she's pregnant you know according to them she did it a storybook way the way that it should be done and like i said anyone who did it a different way i'm not judging you the same bravo is choosing however to not show kenya more black woman in that light however they're choosing to show a woman who's running around fighting people who's not married who just met this guy and is already pregnant you know with his child whether they get engaged on the show or not whatever the case might be she's still not married to this man that's the image they're choosing the show on top of a woman who's married and have a child who's in her late 40s who's been trying okay and waiting for this moment but they're choosing Portia's story over her and I want you guys to also remember that Kenya wasn't fired from this show Kenya just declined the offer which was you know a very low amount be fair 
Candy is a black woman. Yes, Candy had Riley before she met Todd, and she was never married to Riley that. But she met Todd, they got married and everything before having AIDS. And she's a very successful black woman. So in as much as Candy have had um, drama around her and so much, you know, her story, her story about trying to get pregnant and all of that was still shown on the show and, you know, she got married and had her child. So in a way, you know, just let people live and do what they do. <laughs> you know, that whole theory. But I, I understand where people are coming from because even myself have said, yes, Kenya, life going in a positive direction and this is when the show is chosen to be messy and not share her story. Well, Portia shut down these rumors of her being pregnant um, by posting videos and all of that. But like I've said, you know, Cardi B did the same thing. She swore up and down that she wasn't pregnant, um, did not even mention that she was married, um, behaved shocked when her husband proposed to her as if like they were engaged and for the first time when he was already her husband. So <laughs> celebrities would do anything. However, whether Portia is pregnant or not, I don't really care. But since I'm doing the news on Portia, then I'm going to report everything that people are saying is going on with Portia. So that's the only reason why I'm discussing it. But even though I'm not here for the girl, I'm still going to wish her well. Because you guys know, you know, there's no hatred here. I don't understand why Portia is working out and doing Pilates and all of that. Because if, you know, you're not really pregnant and people are thinking you're pregnant, you already know what that means. You know, when you pull up to a female, like, oh, congratulations. It's like, oh, I'm not pregnant. If you're someone who's self-conscious, it's like, oh my gosh, people are saying, you know, calling me the F word. So um, whatever the case might be, like I said, I don't really care. But these are, the, these are the stories running around in Portia. Some of you was in my DM wanted me to report about it. So here you go. Whether she's pregnant or not, engaged or not, well, I'm wishing her the best, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, my villain loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. Thank you all for the love and support. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Go ahead and turn on notifications so when I do post your way that I post it. Also, leave this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the comment section. And remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.